There's only one way to put this. The NBA 2K19 glitch community has evolved beyond what I could have possibly imagined. It seems like every year we watch these guys make fake glitch videos and then they do one worse and another worse and this year, oh man, have they upped their game. So you guys know there's an entire community of guys like making fake glitch video. And keep in mind, there's a whole lot of glitches coming out and a lot of them are real, a lot of which you'll get banned for. For example, there was a My Career glitch where you can just load into the game, sim out of the game and get full VC. Some people thought, oh, it's not really a glitch, it's more of an exploit, I'll try it out. Those guys, banned. There was an animation glitch that low key slipped out. Some of the competitive guys heard about it, tried it out. This year, banned. It's like, yo, they're coming with the fucking ban hammer this year. So I gotta be careful, right? You don't wanna accidentally do something to get you banned. You grinded your player to a 92 overall, now you wasted all that time. So uh, that's the position I don't wanna be in. These guys though, they don't care about you. They're trying to get you to do all of the little glitches. So if the glitch is real, you can get banned for doing it. If the glitch is fake, they're just wasting your time because it's not even real. It's really a lose-lose situation. All right, so there's this new guy challenging the throne, right? Crashy Line previously did have the throne. His name is uh, 2K19 Master. I think this YouTube channel was made specifically for this purpose. And he's not the ideal candidate, you'd assume, is out there in his bedroom making glitch video. Actually, before we get to this video, there's something of note. Do you see how the video has 11,000 views, but it's unlisted? This is not a video someone just dropped on their channel to deceive people. Ladies and gentlemen, this guy right here is running ads against other YouTube videos of people posting 2K19. So, I know you guys subscribe to the channel already. You've been dropping likes on all the videos. Your notification squad. I can't control whether this guy right here posts an ad on my video. Now, the way the YouTube ad system works is like an auction, right? So, if Popeyes comes out and is like, yo, we're willing to do this CPM, if you can't match that CPM, my ad is going on that video. Or on all videos. Whether it's a reserved ad or a regular ad, this guy is literally outbidding other people to put ads on videos. And you have to think to yourself, the fact that it has 11,000 views, that must mean people are clicking on it. Because if people weren't clicking on it, I would not have heard of this guy. That means people are falling for the trap, and for him, the return on investment makes sense, so he continues to do it. He is tricking some of y'all? Let me find out you guys are dumb enough to get tricked by this guy. All right, let's, let's, okay, let's see what he has to say, huh? Fantastic intro there, buddy. An NBA 2K19 VC hack. Wow. <laughs> Hey guys, as usual, I have something pretty useful to share with you. Now you're probably wondering if it's possible to get specific video game premium currency for free. So, to answer your question right away, yes, it is possible to do it. And in this video, I will show you how to do it for any game that you want. Do you? You're seeing what I'm seeing, right? He's not being specific in this video, ladies and gentlemen. He said any game virtual currency. He didn't say just 2K. Here's what I think he's doing. I think he's running these ads across all kinds of games. And then because he's too lazy to do multiple videos or to edit the video differently, he just puts a big NBA 2K19 on here to make it seem like this video was dedicated for 2K19. Interesting. Let's take a look at the guy in the video. There's red walls. He's wearing a red shirt and he's wearing a white shirt under the red shirt with a red collar. He has not one guitar. It looks like a second guitar on the left side or third guitar on the right side. One keyboard, two keyboard. Is that a third keyboard up top? I see microphones and wires and let's look at the foam padding. These foam paddings are like $30 each square. There's three going down four going up, that's as high as we can see. There's three times four, that's 360, and he has two of these. That's 720, ladies and gentlemen, $720 he spent on a foam alone. This guy is not strapped of cash, he has plenty to go around. So this is not a guy who like, is trying to blow up on YouTube, thought maybe I can use a glitch video to give me a head start. I understand that, everybody has to come up somehow. This is a guy who was well off, who decided, Listen, man, I watched the Crashy Lion video. I've been inspired. This is what I want to do with my life. I want to convince people to click on my links and, and get their money, man. He wants to get their money, ladies and gentlemen. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. Let's wait to see if he gets a little bit more specific here in this video. Now, first off, let me quickly explain just how this works. Uh -huh. My guy, you couldn't use the phone that was in so English? You, oh. Now, after choosing the amount of resources, all you need to do is download two free apps from Google Play or App Store. Come on, yeah. 
Come on, yo. Have you guys heard enough? You see, I have you guys ever tried to watch a stream illegally online? How does it usually work? I mean, first of all, you can go on Reddit and find links really easily, but if you're not as smart as that and you don't know how to use Reddit, forget about what I just said. Let's say you're trying to watch a show like Power. Mm, it's very hard to find from what I hear, of course. I would never do such a thing. Sometimes you go on these websites and they're like, all right, to click on that HD video you wanna watch, my guy, you have to download two of these apps. Have you ever tried to download some of those apps? I, myself, have never been that stupid, but luckily, I've had friends that were that stupid, and uh, <coughs> It didn't work. They literally downloaded the apps for no reason. It didn't work. You tell me you're just gonna randomly download apps some guy told you to? There's zero safety in that. And then what? He's just supposed to transfer VC into your account somehow? Guys, let's talk to the My Team community real quick. You know how hard it's been for them since 2K's crackdown on the MT stuff? Like 2K, like three years ago, you might have been able to get away with just buying MT on a website. This year, they're shunning YouTubers, blocking folks out, banning guys for doing stuff like that. <sighs> That is crazy. Just to think that if an ad like this could run on my video, and I can't just be like, no, I don't want that advertiser on my channel. You know it would be really funny? If when he sees this video, he goes, yo, I wanna put the ads on this video. But to do that, right, YouTube's ad system is weird, because to decide on YouTube's ad system that you wanna advertise specifically on a person's channel is called reserved ads. And reserved ads pay the YouTuber six, seven times more than a regular ad. So like L'Oreal could put an ad on my channel or Popeyes could put an ad on my channel, but really they just used the system and my channel got chosen. But if, a, if an advertiser decides he specifically only wants my channel, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna make a lot of money from that video. Now that rarely happens unless you're Logan Paul height, Occasionally it might happen, but usually it's reserved for the millions and millions of subscribers. So for him to do that, he'd have to pay me a lot of money. Ah, and I can't say no to the money, so don't be like, agent, you gonna take that money? I mean, I can't say no, right? There's no option to just ban VC scammers from advertising on my videos. Honestly, didn't know this was a thing until last night, so there's that too. All right, let's keep watching. Logged into your account. Now, some of these apps are very popular, such as Final Fantasy 15, Castle Clash, DraftKings, Solitaire, Big Fish Casino. I think I know how this whole situation works. Basically, he gets you to download other people's apps using his app, and then he gets compensated because when other people get downloads using a referral link, or a referral link, right? Referral link! Then he gets part of the revenue because he directed people to that app, and then from the money he makes, he's supposed to just be generous and give you an even split. Yeah, no doubt, man. I definitely trust this guy to be on his shits. Mm-hmm, yep, yep, yep. Whatever app suits you best. Ladies and gentlemen, and I've had enough. I don't trust this guy. Does this look like the face of a guy I'd trust in my lifetime? Probably not. In fact, definitely not. So I haven't watched this next video just yet. And uh, my guy Crashy Lion is back, ladies and gentlemen. He's back, baby. Yo, so if you don't know, Crashy Lion's channel just disappeared off the internet for like months and months on end. And we haven't heard of him. He, he didn't upload not one video. Then he came back and started uploading Fortnite glitch videos. And of course, they were banging. I'm telling you, the glitch community is the new wave. Yo, these guys getting a lot of views. And so, uh, I mean, Fortnite's kind of like doing his thing. All right, all right, but 2K is back now. And Crashy Lion said he wants to come back for 2K. And so, this is four minutes. And the thing is, there is a lot of glitches coming out. So I'm not even gonna jump to conclusions and say this is wrong. Here's what I will say though. Usually the guys, Finding out the glitches are the guys grinding for 99 overall because they play the game the most so they have the biggest opportunity to accidentally run into one of these glitches. Who I don't trust to give me glitch information is a guy wearing a brown shirt with gray sweatpants in a default my court. That is not the guy I would trust. Anyway, let's check this out. All right, what's going on guys? Crashy Line here. Welcome back to a brand new video, bro. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys possibly the easiest. Crashy Lion, have you grown up, my guy? He hit puberty. I see you, Crashy Lion, hitting puberty and feeling and getting older. I like it. VC method that you could possibly do. Actually, this is the first VC glitch on NBA 2K19. This method is going to break this game, okay? I'm about to break this game. I'm about to show you guys how to get VC for free. Uh, it's very simple. Let's go ahead and get right into it. I like the face cam, my guy. I like the addition of the face cam. We need to get, we need to, we need to, we need to get to know you as a person, not just your glitches. 
Uh, before we do so though, this video is sponsored by Big Cash app. No, Basically, it's not. Cash app I know this video is not sponsored by this app, gift bro. Cards, <laughs> such as Amazon. Yo, he's a hustler. I like Crashy Line. He's a hustler. Oh, listen, here's what Crash Crashy Line woke up one day and realized like. Do I really want to work at no McDonald's? He's like, no, I'm a hustler. I'm gonna make these glitch videos on YouTube. I'm gonna get these sponsors from these apps on YouTube, and he's gonna make his guac that way. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, he is a certified, bona fide hustler, right? And I appreciate Basically, that. Basically, all you really, I really, have to do. I really though, do not want to see the advertisement. So let's skip. You guys can. Um, in this case, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and max everything. So, up. so here's the thing. To have exactly 100,000 VC. Actually, you know what? I don't want to jump to it. Maybe he created a separate account to do this. Let's be I'll fair. I'm at 85 overall. <laughs> um, this is a brand new account, by the way. Brand new account. Brand new. Brand new. Um, I haven't done anything yet. Yep, yep. And this is so game breaking that 2K might ban me. So I'm going to go ahead and blur out my um, my PSN. Um, hey, crashy, my guy. 2K has, it keeps track of every transaction. And if you think, Blurring your user. I mean, you showed your player's name. You don't think they could just go in their database and type in? You think there's like hundreds of Crash Spencers they're gonna have to run through? There's one Crash Spencer. Is Spencer your real name? Don't tell me Spencer's your real name, man. Can I call you Spencer? But yeah, but you guys probably already know what it is though. But anyway, you have man, to buy more just go ahead and uh, max everything out to your 85. Make sure you guys look at how much VC I have right now. I pre-ordered the game, yeah. so I got 100,000 VC. <laughs> That's all I have. I only have 100,000 VC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I don't have enough VC in order to max out my guy, so we're going to go ahead and go with 200,000 uh, VC. Go for 400. That's what we're going to go ahead and glitch. We're going to get that for free. Uh -huh. Absolutely free, bro. For free. So basically, <laughs> um, once you guys... Guys, for free. <laughs> ...to this uh, PlayStation Store um, screen, uh... It's gonna say buy for $49, $50, bro. $50 for some in-game money, bro. Nobody's paying that. I'm not paying that. I'm gonna make sure that you guys don't pay that as well. Look at the gay Spencer the Philanthropist, man. Oh, man, I love it. So, um, basically, go ahead and press buy, but you're not buying it, trust me. Um, <laughs> trust me, guys, it will not charge your, did it charge your credit card? Trust me, guys, you will get the money back. <laughs> All right, so this, Page is very important right here if you guys press the options button it takes you to this little screen yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. little screen is so important pay attention uh -huh. so uh, if you guys go to this little screen you guys can go to the terms and service bro, he did the same glitch and last year and stuff. it was oh this my is very god important, bro. You guys are gonna bro you couldn't even think of a new way to do it my guy we watched this exact video last year man come on bro I, I watched like four of his videos over the course of a year and I distinctively remember this one didn't know how to do this so right here where it says confirm purchase, press uh, the square button and the X button at the same time. The square button and the X button at the same time and the options button. And the options button. If you do that correctly, it's gonna like glitch right here. You're gonna see like the buttons on the screen while you go to terms of service. Uh, uh, make sure you guys do this extremely that fast, makes bro. Sense. Extremely fast. All right, so stay on the screen for about like a couple seconds, maybe uh, like three seconds, four seconds, I don't know. Back all the way out and look at this. It said purchasing, and now it says transaction canceled. And now look at my VC. So you mean to tell you, he, he paused the recording, bought, he actually bought 200,000 VC. And then he went on the screen and then canceled the transaction to get this and to show that he had 300. Is that what you mean to tell me, Crashy Line? Crashy, come on, man. We saw this exactly. What the fuck is that, man? Well, just think about it logically. Why would the combination of Square X and options automatically purchase your VC. Just think about what you're saying real quick, man. If you wanted this to make more sense, you should have said X and circle, because X is to go forward, circle is to go back. And then maybe you could have tricked some more idiots to fall for the trap, bro, but I don't believe you right now. Maybe I'm judging him too early. 300,000 VC, it added the 200,000 VC for free and it says transaction canceled. I looked at my PayPal account, right? I didn't spend a dime. I would show you my transactions that, in that my PayPal believable. account. All right, Crash Line, I have a final challenge for you. If you get this correct, then I will never ever doubt you again. I want to see 15 million VC in your account by tomorrow. Put out a tweet, drop a video, do something. Because if this strategy is true and it doesn't cost you any money, 
Rack it up, my guy. The only reason you wouldn't get 15 million VC in your account is if it actually costs you money. So if this is as free as you say it is, might as well run it up, my guy. Make as many builds as you want, but just show me that 15 million. It's interesting, in the title, he put 450,000 VC per minute, but in, in the clip, he only went for the two, I mean, technically, why don't you just do this with the 450,000 VC? Why did he have to go two? Maybe he just wanted to be humble, right? He's like, I'm crashy line, I've made millions of dollars on glitch videos, so I don't even want to flex on people like that, show them I could buy the 450,000 VC bundle of the game. Nah, 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 nah. I'm a humble guy, I'll get 200,000. That's my challenge for you, crashy line. Ladies and gentlemen, I do not know what is next. What could they possibly do to escalate from what we have right now? I don't know, I actually have no idea. If it gets any worse, I'm afraid I'm gonna fall for the trap, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna click on their links, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get scammed, I'm gonna get banned in the process, and then I'm gonna lose everything that I own. I'm gonna lose all my players, and I, since I don't have my players no more, you guys aren't gonna love me, man, and you guys are all gonna unsubscribe, and you guys will be like, I don't really mess with that guy no more, and then after all that, I'm gonna lose all my money, I'm gonna be depressed, I'm gonna start living homelessly, because how do I pay for rent, or how do, I'm, I might have to drop some glitch videos. On a real note, guys, uh, the glitch videos are getting a lot of people banned. High profile people. So just be careful, even if you do know there's a glitch, be sure that you're not gonna get banned for doing it before you do it. Because there's probably some glitches they don't know about so they can't ban you, but they might know about it at some point and then catch up and ban you. You never really know. So if you are doing a glitch, be sure that it's worth it for you. Last thing you wanna do is regrind a player or you ban your account and you have to spend another $50 on a new account and start over. You don't wanna go through that. I'm gonna leave it on that note. Uh, warning, all right? I've seen it happen to people already. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, click on one of these two videos here and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.